All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another quick video. All right, y'all, I want to talk about the Bantamweight title fight everybody wants to see, right? I want to talk about this in here real quick. I know it's not official yet, but it, there have been talks about it. You know, they have been uh, bringing this thing up now in several interviews. You know, they've been talking to Rocky Pennington, and they have been talking to uh, Juliana Pena in a few interviews about this title fight. And um, it looks like it's in the works. It's in the works. Nothing's official, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of take an early look and get my thoughts on this one. Um, as y'all know, Rocky Pennington did an interview recently at the Hall of Fame induction, and she did say that she does look look forward to fighting Juliana Pena next. So I think they are going to make this fight at this point because she also ruled out a Kayla Harrison fight because she said that Kayla doesn't deserve that fight yet. She said let her fight Juliana Pena first and let Kayla fight whoever, and then she'll fight Kayla Harrison next. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much out of the way. But, uh, yeah, Rocky Pennington also said that she hasn't got a contract yet or anything, but she does want to make this fight because she said it was a long time coming. You know, you know, these two, they have history since uh, the Tough House and, you know, they never really liked each other. They always kind of had some things to say about each other. So um, I think, you know, there was just there's just been that kind of energy between these two. So I definitely see Rocky and Juliana Pena wanting to make that fight at some point. But um, another interview I saw Juliana Pena did say that uh, she heard word that the fight is looking to be scheduled for some time in the fall. I think maybe that first week of October or sometime later in October. Um, nothing's just been finalized yet. But um, yeah, I think at this point, they might as well just go ahead and make this one because um, I don't really see any other big fight going down right now except a Kayla Harrison fight. But even then, like like I said, I think Kayla should fight somebody else before you know she just runs in there and tries to fight Rocky Pennington. You know, just coming in, debuting off a Holly, Holly home win, that's not enough to me to say, oh, I'm Kayla Harrison, number one contender. Oh, okay, I'm cool with her getting the title shot. No, I know we look at it the other way. Juliana Pena hasn't actually been active herself, but this fight here might actually draw in some energy because, you know, Juliana Pena is a fighter that everybody loves to hate. She's kind of like that Kale Sonnen for WMMA. And um, I think that at least with her getting in there, I think that this will make that fight somewhat exciting. I'm just saying maybe or maybe not, but we all know that Juliana Pena has a mouth on her and that girl likes to talk, and she does she does bring that dog. But uh, real quick, just looking at the past resumes here. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Rocky Pennington, as y'all know, her last fight was in uh, January against Myra Buena Silva, so it is about time for her to you know get back in there. I know she said she wanted to take a break, but by the time she comes back, that'll be, what, nine months away. So, yes, it's time for her to defend her belt by October, you know, so... That makes sense. Um, before that, let's see. She was on a five-fight win streak. Let's see. Beat Aspen Ladd. Uh, Macy Chase on. Just a few names she has beaten already. Um, yeah, she was just on a nice little win streak. And other than that, yeah, it was it was pretty much Rocky Pennington's um, shot. You know, I think she pretty much earned that. And she won the belt like I thought she would against NBS. But, uh, yeah, just looking at Juliana Pena, though, man, like she hadn't fought since July of 2022. By the time she comes back, that'll be two years and some change. So, and the fight that she was last in was her rematch with Amanda Nunes, which she was pretty much dominated, right? Had me head split and everything knocked down five times. So the question is, like, with that time off away from the cage and also having a fractured or broken rib, was that enough time for her to get her skills up, you know, for her to sharpen her technique and everything? Like, has she been able to really stay sharp and get that work in? Um, that's, that's the question. Like, I don't know. Like, we don't know how bad that rib injury was. Like, how long she had to be put off or, you know, was she able to get some work in like over the past few months or throughout the spring or what? So I think it just comes down to, you know, go, her going in there and, you know, seeing if she can execute her usual style, you know, because we put these two together, they definitely have, contra you know, contradicting styles. You know, this isn't going to be like two fighters meeting in the middle, just going, you know, toe to toe and blow for blow. You know, um, Rocky Pennington, I think of her as more like a cautious fighter. Kind of like Liz Carmouche, you know, they soak up game and they get better throughout their um, performances. You know, every every fight they're in, they kind of gain something new, gain new experience. But um, Rocky's also got a cautious type of style. You know, she's kind of slick with the jab. Uh, she likes to neutralize you in the cage. Uh, sometimes she'll take a few minutes off around. You know, she won't just go straight at you like that. Now, if you do come at her, she will throw combinations, but... Uh, you have to kind of force her into that type of fight. And I think Juliana Pena, is the, she's going to be the one to force that type of fight where I could see Rocky kind of neutralizing her on the, in, you know, on the inside in the clinch. Maybe every now and then she'll try to trade with her if that's what she feels like she has to do. 
um, if that moment comes. But yeah, I think Juliana Pena is going to be the one putting that pressure on with straight jabs. And um, that's something I hope that Juliana Pena has been working on is, you know, not just the straight jab, but, you know, throwing like better combinations and being able to cut the cage off and not chase. And that's the big question. Is she going to be able to show that type of adjustment or improvement since two years ago? you know, she was pretty much baffled on the feet. I mean, she did a lot of damage to Amanda, right? When it came down to like close quarters and just like a straight up fight, when she would pull Amanda into a fight, she could connect. But as far as just like being able to trap Amanda or take Amanda down or even land like a good sequence of blows and maybe stop Amanda, she wasn't able to do that in this fight. You know, she really wasn't able to do that in this rematch. But um, hopefully during that time off, she was able to get her boxing and her footwork down to be able to try to cut a fighter off like Rocky Pennington and um, like I said be able to connect with more than one um, one or two shots I mean she did connect on Amanda I ain't gonna lie she did connect more than one shot on Amanda but at times it wasn't enough like I said to get Amanda in, in trouble where she could get her out of there Amanda definitely looked like she'd been in a fight but still she didn't win a single round right uh, Rocky is definitely a different fighter than Amanda so I think that Juliana Pena's chances of uh, dogging, dogging with Rocky are there. You know, those those chances definitely are there. But let's see how much has been taken out of Pena after that Amanda Nunez, uh, Amanda Nunez war and, you know, having the fractured rib, you know, uh, where I feel like Rocky Pena, since, you know, she's kind of kind of reinvented herself throughout the years and kind of uh, rebuilt herself, um, even technically. Like, I think Rocky Pennington, like, she listens more to her corner. Like she knows how to control herself and not get too reckless. Whereas Juliana Pena, that can be a gift for her or it can be the death of her. You know, like if she's able to break a girl's will, then yeah, go straight at it. You know, she can go in there and get them. But if the fighter is patient and they can time her, she'll have problems. So that's what, that's what type of fight I think we're going to see. You know, I think we're going to see Rocky try to play a cautious fight the early few rounds and uh, Juliana Pena trying to force that action. But um, it's all going to come down to see if, you know, Juliana Pena is 100% in there, you know, as far as the rib and even, you know, taking blows upstairs. So, yeah, man, um, my thoughts on this one. Yeah, at this point, you know, I just want to see them get this fight out of the way, just like Grasso Shevchenko 3. Um, I think, yeah, this is a long overdue fight. And I think there'll definitely be blood in this fight. And it probably will be a entertaining one, you know, whatever Juliana Pena is taking the lead in there and she's just running straight in. I mean, it makes for an action-packed fight. You know, you can't deny that. But guys, let me know what y'all think of this one. Combo Breaker 99, I'm out. Subscribe, peace.